let's take a closer look at the file preparation requirements, which include accepted file types, file size, file naming, and acceptable characters to use when naming files. The types of files that are acceptable for uploading are PDF files or image files such as JPG, JPEG, or PNG, or document type files such as DOC or DOCX. The maximum size a file can be is four megabytes. There will be a warning message in the portal if your file size is too big. If you need to reduce a file size, you can use a free online website called ilovepdf.com or a similar online tool. When uploading images, the smallest resolution size should be 420 by 540 pixels. For file naming, you must include the last name followed by a dash and then the first name followed by a dash and then the document type it is followed by a dash, and then an item number if you are uploading multiple files using the same document type name. The Resettlement Operations Center in Ottawa, also known as Rocco, has confirmed, however, that they would prefer PDFs where the multiple files are merged into one document rather than uploading separate PDF files for each document of the same type. And we will explain this further in a moment. The allowable characters that can be used when typing your file name are upper and lowercase letters, numbers, dashes, underscores, or a dot. So for francophones, this is particularly important because you cannot use French keyboard letters that have accents, even if it is for a person's name. Let's take a look at a case example based on this principal applicant, their spouse and child. For example, if the principal applicant has some documents to include for proof of education, such as diploma and a certificate, these documents could be saved as separate files and using file names that are the same, except they include a sequential number at the end. Or, if you are able to merge these documents into one PDF file that is less than four megabytes in size, then Rocco would prefer this. When uploading photos for this family, each photo can be uploaded separately, where the file name must include the name of the person in that photo. So for example, this is how each of the photo files would be named for the principal applicant, the spouse, and the dependent child. However, again, if you prefer, you may merge all of the photos into one PDF file that is less than four megabytes and simply use the principal applicant's name along with the file name of photos. When it comes to file naming for specific forms and other supporting documents, be sure you are including the appropriate names based on the document type being uploaded. So for the principal applicant schedule two, you would need to include the name of the principal applicant and the title of the form. The same goes for the RSD document. So the refugee status determination document. Use the principal applicant's name and include RSD for the title. The same goes for the principal applicant's declaration. If you are uploading the undertaking document, you can use the principal applicant's name followed by undertaking as shown in the example here. When you're uploading specific forms or documents for individual sponsors, you must include the individual sponsor's name as well as what document type it is. For example, the financial profiles would be named according to the sponsor it belongs to as in this example here. And the same goes for sponsor assessment form or for any ID documents for proving a sponsor's Canadian status. Now let's take a look at what you will need to access the online PR portal.